We're here today to celebrate the marriage of Charlotte and Dean. According to the concise Oxford Dictionary, marriage is defined as the legal union of a man and woman in order to live together. This definition does not begin to describe the joy and commitment of sharing a life together. Thank you, family and close friends, all for coming and for sharing Charlotte and Dean's wedding day. We love the choices that they've made today. Speaking of choices, if Charlotte would have asked me, she didn't ask me, of course, she doesn't ask me anything. Who would be the perfect guy? Uh, I would have chosen Dean. And they complement one another perfectly. Thank you for being you, Dean, and for laughing at some of my material, even when Charlotte doesn't. The obvious place to start is early on in our relationship where Shaz exhibited her forgiving nature very early on. I think it was our third date where I accidentally poured, I think almost an, an entire pint of uh, beer down Charlotte and her nice silk shirt. So, yes. Um, everyone here will know that Charlotte is one of the kindest people you will meet. She spends more of her time thinking about others and ensuring that everyone is happy. Th this is one of the many reasons you are a fantastic person. Charlotte, there is not enough time here to, to, today to tell you everything that I love about you. I love how you laugh and incredibly lucky to know that I will hear that many, many more times. I love how patient you are and I'm also very lucky about that as well. I love how you always look for the best in people and I love how charitable you are and that you have dedicated so much of your time to helping others. Everyone here will agree that I'm incredibly lucky to be sharing my life with you. I want to thank you for making me a better person. I am more patient and thoughtful, and that is because of you. I am certain I would not have achieved as, as much without you by my side. There are many, many more ways in which you have helped me develop into a better man, so I owe you more than I could ever repay. I also want to say that I know my mother would have loved you as well. She would have seen how special you are, and how good you are, and uh, you have been and are to me. She would have been proud to call you her daughter-in-law. She would have loved to see how happy we are today, and I know she's here at, um, in spirit today. Shaz, I can't wait to see what our marriage has in store for us. It will be full of cele um, celebration, surprises, and happiness. I wouldn't want anyone else by my side. You are my love and my favorite person, and with you by my side, I feel supported and most importantly loved. If you live to be 100, I would, not, I would want to live to be 100 minus one day so I would never have to live without you. If there is a tomorrow when we are not together, remember there is something you, there is something you always must remember. You are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. But the most important thing is even if we are apart, I'll always be with you. Thank you to everyone for joining us to celebrate our marriage. I appreciate all the support and the parts you have played in our lives. We would not have wanted to celebrate it without you. Finally, Charlotte, I love you with all my heart, and I'm so fortunate that I now have the privilege to be able to call you my wife. Thank you for that, Dean. Uh, if Dean is looking a little nervous, it's probably because he's wondering what embarrassing stories his best man, Chris, is about to reveal. 
it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you the best man, Chris. I'd just like to start by having a toast to the lovely bridesmaids over there. So if everyone please raise their glasses. Well done, you look lovely. I'd also like to raise a toast to the amazing flower man who did such an excellent job at introducing the wedding. A huge congratulations to Mr. and Mrs. Luce. Well done. And what a lovely venue they have chosen today. Very original, beautiful scene. Can't fault it anywhere. I would just like to thank everyone that's made today possible for all of you for taking the time to attend and for showing your support and love. I have known Dean around 18 years now since school. And it's needs to say that we have experienced many moments of absolute carnage. <laughs> but I'm pleased to say things have improved when Dean met Charlotte. And from the start, I could tell that they were made for each other. And they were just so well suited and matched perfectly. So well done. I'm proud to say that through my friendship with Dean, I've gained another good friend, and that is Charlotte. And on, I would like to propose a toast to you for a lifetime of happiness. So if everyone would please raise their glasses for my two friends, Charlotte and Dean. According to the concise Oxford Dictionary, marriage is defined as the legal union of a man and woman in order to live together. This definition does not begin to describe the joy and commitment of sharing a life together. There's a couple of words I'd like to use. Shy, retiring. They've got nothing to do with Charlotte. I know what no, sorry, Sienna. Um, Charlotte, thank goodness that you're so like your mother, but also with your own distinct pers personality. They say parson. Charlotte spoke of one day being a grown up. She used to say, oh, when I'm a lady when she was a little girl. You are now a beautiful lady with a heart of gold. You have no idea how special you are to us. Family and friends are very important to Charlotte. Charlotte and Victoria and I were given the gift of Sue by dear Nanny June and Grandad Tom. Tom and June, without them, I wouldn't have met Sue, the understated heart and soul of our family we would not be in this place at this time. You are much loved and we wish you and Dean much deserved happiness. I'd like to propose a toast, although I brought a glass with me, um, to the happy couple, Charlotte and Dean. Cheers, Charlotte and Dean. Today we celebrate the love and union of our brother Dean and his wife Charlotte with some well-deserved teasing for our dear older brother. As Dean's younger sisters, Sarah and Amy, we are very honored to be standing here to have been given the opportunity to share a few heartfelt and some not heartfelt words on this extraordinary occasion. There are some stories we have decided to keep out of the speech to save Dean's embarrassment. As we all know, boys are fairly disgusting grown up. So it's fair to say Dean was probably a, a big source of admiration for Amy and I when we were growing up. In particular, his unwavering and quite frankly unnerving competitiveness. Uh, a particular game we used to play on holiday called King of the Pool, which would entail the king sitting on a lilo throne with a bucket as a crown and an oar as a scepter. And the objective of the game is quite simple, dethrone the king. And Dean took this to the point where I think he would rather have drowned than lost. We have taught each other so much over the years and become the people we are today because of each other. And today, I make these promises to you now as we embark on the next adventure, the way we do things best, together. I promise to make sure I'm not hungry before I get upset. <laughs> <laughs> I promise to grow alongside you, but never grow up. I promise to kiss you every night before we go to sleep. 
I promise to even when we disagree respect you. Um, I vow to cherish you for the rest of my days. I will always be there to support you when you face difficult times. I'll always be there to listen when you need a sympathetic ear and I'll always be there when you need a cuddle. Charlotte, I give... <laughs> Very good instruction. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. Charlotte, I give you this ring as a symbol of my, my love. I promise to give to you my love and friendship. I promise to give you my love and friendship. I promise to confide in you and comfort you. I promise to confide in you and comfort you. To trust and support you. To trust and support you. I promise to be there when you need me most. I promise to be there when I need you when you need me most. Always and forever. Always and forever. Dean. Dean. <laughs> Very nice. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. I promise to give to you my love and friendship. I promise to give to you my love and friendship. I promise to confide in you and comfort you. I promise to confide in you and comfort you. To trust and support you. To trust and support you. I promise to be there when you need me most. I promise to be there when you need me most. Always and forever. So Dean had an uh, initial resistance to having siblings. There's a story our dad likes to tell. When I was born in the hospital, he phoned up to tell Dean the good news that he had a little baby sister. And his rude response back was, not for me. <laughs> and now he has four, so. <laughs> but despite all this, he taught us some life, life skills that we needed. All the bad language I know, that I never use grandma, I promise. <laughs> How to be a sore loser but a worse winner and to never share your food under any circumstances. So we're just grateful that it's not a buffet today. <laughs> but fear not, love has softened Dean's heart. Since he met Charlotte, we've witnessed the blossoming beautiful bond between them. It shows how much you both love each other, even if Dean still refused to share his food. Sorry about that. Um, but we're happy Dean has found the love of his life and your personalities complement each other beautifully. So, enjoy the unforgettable escapades, joyous moments, and friendly competition. Because let's face it, with Dean by your side, you'll never walk alone. Shaz and I have been friends for over half of our lives. And in this time, I have been extremely fortunate to have gained not only a best friend, but a sister with Shaz and an extended family within the Blacks. However, believe it or not, Shaz and I weren't actually always friends. When we first met in primary school, we didn't leave the best first impressions on each other. I actually thought Shaz was really loud, which was very accurate and very true to this day, whereas I'm not quite sure what Shaz thought of me, but my actions definitely spoke louder when one day, I decided I didn't want to share any of my colouring in pencils with her, which, as you can imagine, didn't land very well. However, at the beginning of our senior year at Manor House, we were forced to spend some time together and the bond grew. From that moment, we realised we share many interests and passions, including eating as much food as possible, dancing to live music, sharing the love and drinking Prosecco, which, of course, means today, as expected, is just going to be marvellous. Right. So, Dean, my advice. Don't take after me in the future. If Shaz Eza asks you for a colouring in pencil, give it to her. And with that, I would like to thank you both for making us all a part of your friendships, family, and for sharing this beautiful day with all of us. If everyone could now please join me in raising a glass and wishing the future bride and groom all their love, joy and happiness in their future adventures. From a playful Disney princess who loved to dress up, 
into an amazing, beautiful bride who looks stunning in that dress has been wonderful. If I had a time machine, I would go back to when Victoria was born and I would do it every second again. <laughs> you all being here today and everything many, you, many of you have done to help make this day what it is has shown me and Dean so much love and kindness and I want to say a massive thank you to you all. I want to especially thank the bridesmaids, whoop, whoop, whoop. the ushers, whoop, whoop. the flower girls, woo, woo, um, and the flower man, obviously. Hey, <laughs> you guys have been all so supportive and I love you all. I'll start with my first love, the 27th of October, 1992. <laughs> that only just happened, right? I know, yeah. <laughs> uh, now, I don't remember this, but I know this day I met my first love. Even though she was unconscious at the time, we already loved each other from the first meeting, and our love has only grown stronger each day. I'll never truly be able to thank you for everything you've done for me in my life, Mum but I just wanted to start sharing with some of the things you've done for me. Every confetti box stuffed, every sweet bag rewrapped because I was upset that they looked greasy, every game chosen, every dress tried on, I tried on about 40, every tiring car journey, every tear wiped away, every reassuring hug, every loving talk, and every day for just being you. I want to say thank you. We are all so lucky to have you. You've set the bar pretty high for what a dad needs to be like, Dad, and you'll always be the first man I loved. My parents have supported and encouraged me to be who I am. Thanks to both of my first loves, I've become the woman I am today, and I just want to say what a freaking good job they did. My next love, we took a sec to warm to each other as she was always taking my stuff. But my sister has always taken on the role as protector and what a great protector she has been. Always watching over me and her wonderful girls. She once came to get me at three in the morning from a club and she saw people fighting on the ground to which she rolled the windows down drove towards them screaming, not my sister! And I was across the road waving, I'm over here, Victoria. <laughs> I'm so fortunate to have you as my protector. The bad guys don't stand a chance. Philosophy says the happiest married couples are usually a combination of a calm husband and a dramatic wife. So we're gonna be very happy. I know I'm so lucky to have found you in this crazy shook up world and I'm going to tell you just a few reasons why. You know all of me, even at my worst, which is not fun at all. And you still love me and treat me with the calmness and kindness you always give to me. Even when you don't understand, you do everything in your power to try to and I will be forever grateful for that. 